How's it going today, audience? And welcome to Cub Fans Minecraft. This is episode 55. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I've been working on in this world. And we're also going to do a couple of uh, little additions and one quick build on this episode. So first let's go over to this uh, wool, wool farm I have over here. Multiple wool farms. And you'll, how did you get out? There's not an enderman that took a block, is there? Anyway, that must have been from uh, previous damage sometime. So this is what I've been working on. Off screen a little bit. So what this is, is a cow farm. This is based off a design by Automator MC. So let me show you some of the features it has here real quick. So we can breed up these cows if we want to. And don't make it to babies. Then uh, we have some options here to cook the cows if we want to. And let's just get up here and see some of this redstone. So let's just jump up here. So the cook mechanism is controlled by this lever. It will remove this piston and cause them to be pushed down into the lava. And then they run around down here. It cooks them. So we end up with cooked steak. And then we can retrieve it via this door here. So everything will come down into that area. That lever is also connected to a water source block. Uh, let's see, this thing comes up here. Comes up to a water source block, which is located directly underneath where I'm standing here. You can see it right there underneath my mouse cursor. So that releases and pushes the cows down toward the fiery death that awaits them. But I don't have too many cows in here right now. Just have about like six or so. So what we can do now is we can restock them or we can rotate them. So if we rotate them, there's a line of pistons underneath here. And if I just show you the redstone up here, this button leads back to here. And right back here, I believe. Yep, there's a whole line of sticky pistons, which will push out. And the cows will drop down, so let me just show you that real quick right now. They drop out, and they're down there now. And the water streams are such that it pushes all the cows down this way and then back up to the top where they will all collect, I think, because I think I have that closed. Yep, I have that closed right now. So they're all being rotated right now. And once I get more cows in here, it'll be easier to, uh, you know, just uh, breed a whole bunch here, hit the rotate button, have them drop down and recycle over there. And then if we want to restock, get some new cows in here, we open this up. And they all should come down into this area once again. And these little ones need some encouragement, so we'll just do this. That's right, come to daddy. And then we'll close that back up. And that's just sticky pistons uh, wired to this lever. You can see a little bit of redstone up there. So that's the, uh, the cow farm. We got the farm and the cooker here. So I think that's pretty cool. I added some pumpkins down here. And I added this, uh, this little door and window out there. So that's the, uh, that's the cow cooker I've been working on. And once again, that design is not mine. It's by a guy named Automator MC. And now let's go ahead and go over to the sand generator. And we'll see what's going on over here. So, uh, some of you guys left some very helpful comments on the last video. And telling me that I actually don't need uh, pretty much any of this stuff here, this uh, these pistons. So we can actually get rid of these, all of these actually, and just put torches down. And the guy who suggested that is the Tipton775, so I want to thank him. And he's going in the mine shaft later for that useful tip. So we'll just grab all this redstone. And I'm thinking about... Uh, Thinking about hooking up this line here, maybe to like a giant sign that flashes sand, 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 right there with the redstone lamps, but we'll just have to see. So for now, what I think I'll do, see we need this block here, so I'm going to dig down to a too deep trench here, and we'll put torches down there, and this should break the sand. 
Should break the sand so we can easily go down and collect it. I should have brought a shovel with me. Luckily, I brought a crafting table. So we can just make one. Get over there. There we go. Perfect. Alright, get this crafting table back and then we'll test it out. Okay. And by the way, this also does work with gravel. I tried it out and it definitely does work with gravel. Uh, so, just in case you were wondering. So we'll put one up there. And then one there. And then we'll turn it on. Nice. So let's turn this on. I think it should work. There's our block there. Yeah, baby. Making me some sand. That's what I like to see. Nice. I think I love this generator. Yep, so that's a very useful idea. Thank you very much again to the Tipton775 for that idea. And you, my friend, are going in the mine shaft later on. Alright, that's enough sand generation for now, I'd say. Alright, sweet. So that's that small change. Then we're going to, let's see, do we want to do that now? No, okay, we're going to go down to the uh, potion room now. And we'll make a little change down there. So we'll head there now. And what I want to do down there is change some of these clocks. So I made a lot of clocks down there. But sometimes what, uh, make sure there's no slimes in here. Looking good. Sometimes I want to make uh, fewer potions than what the timers currently allow. So what I'm going to do is change uh, the potions, the, uh, sorry, not the potions, the uh, redstone behind this mechanism. So let's dig in here. And let's get down below and look at some of this wiring here. So I think I don't need these blocks anymore. Yeah. Just needed those to place some of the pumpkins and things like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take out all the unnecessary uh, delay in this line. So I'm going to knock out this repeater, this repeater, this repeater, this repeater, this repeater. And we'll just put in redstone there. Then we'll knock out that guy, that guy. All right, and I think that's all the unnecessary repeaters. And then we're gonna go up and we're going to knock out some of the timers upstairs. Because what I want to happen is when we hit one of these buttons, I want one piece of glowstone, one, one piece of the ingredients to come out and three bottles to come out. So right now we have, I believe it's, we have 18 bottles come out and six of uh, the potion ingredients. So we're gonna try and fix that now. So if we just come up here, these are the glass bottles. So I'm gonna take these glass bottles and we're going to put them all into one dispenser, this guy right here. Perfect. And then we're going to go up to the top and we're going to change the clock up here so that it's on uh, four ticks delay so there we go got that and then we're just going to destroy all the other clocks because we don't need them anymore if we only want one one item to dispense and I hope this is going to work I think it should uh, I tried it out in my test world so hopefully it works and I can get all the stuff that I destroyed back thank you and we'll go up and get rid of all these clocks and I'll be back once that is done alright so we got rid of all the clocks there there and the only one left is there on four ticks delay and that's for the glass bottle so let's go ahead and get back down and we'll test out the system if I could find the right exit here we go Okay, let's test it out. Hopefully, this will all work correctly. So, we'll hit the glass bottles. And three come down. Nice. 
Yep, three. And then if we hit a random item, say a gas tier, one comes down. Yep, sweet. All right. And we'll check uh, a few more, say on this side. Let's try fermented spider eye. Okay, that works. And sugar. That works. And nether wart. All right, so that's working. I'll just go ahead and put these back up top in the appropriate slots. And now we just have to find them. Glass bottles. Whoops. There we go. Fermented spider eye. Sugar. Magma cream. Where's our gas tears at? Another wart. Glistering melon. There we go. There's gas tears. And I think I just passed over another wart. Yep, there we go. Nice. All right. So, with that done, let's go ahead and... Come on, trap door. There we go. All right, with that done, let's go ahead and head back up and see if it's, uh, see if it's nighttime. Or if it's daytime. It's probably still... Uh, nope, nighttime. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go upstairs. I'll sleep through the night. And then when I get up in the morning, we will go ahead and create an obsidian generator. Nice. So, I'm going to go to sleep, and I'll be back. Okay, everybody, just crafted myself two additional buckets because we're going to need a bucket of lava and a few buckets of water. So I'm going to get some materials. I think we'll make it out of stone. And we'll put the rest of the stuff back. We need some pistons and we need some sticky pistons. So I'll get a few slime balls as well. Don't need quite that many. Let's just uh, get, say... Four, maybe five would do. We'll get five of them. Nice. And then I think we're pretty much good to go. Uh, I got some redstone. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Do I have some levers? Let's let's grab some levers too. I think we have a bunch in here. No, nope. and here. Yeah, there we go. Grab three levers. All right, let's go out and build this thing. I think we'll put this obsidian generator out close to... Hello, creeper. There's an arrow. We'll go ahead and put this obsidian generator out next to the sand generator. I think that'd be a pretty decent spot. And I didn't actually discover this. I actually thought it was broken, but it turns out it's not if you do it a specific way. So let's just clear an area here by this sand generator. Okay, let's put it, uh, hmm. Let's see where we want to put this at. Could just go right here. Yeah, what the heck, let's go right here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to dig down two blocks, a two by four hole. Not like that, there we go. So we'll dig down four long, two deep, like that. Then we'll go ahead and put our structure around this. Like this, like that. Make our backing. Like that. And then we'll go ahead and put some water down, which I neglected to gather. And we also need some lava, so let's go over this way and get it. Let's get the lava first. I know there's a, there's a surface lava pool over this way. And some water. So it's an ideal spot to go. Come on, double tap. There we go. Alright, so let's get some water here and some lava. We need one bucket of lava and we need three buckets of water. So we'll just get those here. Alright, nice. Coming back over to the generator. Hi-ho. Alright, and I should probably clear this out a little bit more. Good enough for now. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to place water down like that, like that, and 
like that. And we're going to leave the fourth one just like it is without any water source block. Then we're going to cover all this up like this and like that. Nice. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come out four blocks here and not like that. Come out four blocks right here. One, two, three, four. And we're going to have two uh, on top of the, of the end right there. And then our lava source block will go right where we're standing right now. So let's make a structure around that. So it's going to go right there. Then we'll leave a space. We're going to put uh, one of our pistons down like this. Like right there, if I can get it. There we go, right there. Okay, then we're going to have this come down like that. And like that. All right, and then we don't need some of these blocks on the bottom here, so we'll get rid of these. And I think that's all the unnecessary blocks. So then we come back to the front side here, and we will create our line that goes from uh, from the piston to this point here, and we'll place a wall right there, and then we'll just run redstone, whoops, So we'll run redstone from, didn't mean to do that, from this guy down to here and behind here like this once I get this thing corrected. There we go, like that. And we'll put a lever here. So that'll control our lava flow. Like that. Alright, sweet. Okay, so we need lava. We want to make an obsidian generator. There we go, right there. There's our lava. And next thing we need is a bit of glass. So let me run and get some glass, and I'll be right back. Okay, just in here getting some glass. I think we have a bunch. Yes, perfect. And we're also, if we're going to want to break this obsidian, we're going to need a diamond pickaxe. So we're going to make one of those right now. So we'll make a diamond pick. Sweet. All right. So then we come back out here. How are we doing on time? Looks like it's getting close to dark out. But that's alright. Almost done here. Actually, we, technically we are done, but I want to make it a little bit more automated. So I'll probably show you how it works right now, because it's actually complete right now, I believe. Let's see that comes out here yeah pretty much done right now but we just have to seal this off I think that should be good right there yeah so the key is taking redstone and placing it down here and this will trick the game into uh, thinking that the lava is a source block actually so when it hits the water it'll actually create obsidian instead so let's see if this works here I think it should but we'll try it here we go. And obsidian. Nice. One, two, two. Usually it goes three. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway, there's two pieces of obsidian right there. Typically it runs out for three blocks. But a way we can fix that would be to do something like this and then put that like that. Let's see if we can get that third piece of obsidian generated real quick here. Let's see. Here we go. This is going to get it, I think. Yep, there we go. Three pieces of obsidian. And then we shut it off. But you'll notice the lava does not disappear right away. So I think it's getting a little bit late now, but I'll come back uh, the next day. And we'll see how we can get rid of this obsidian. Or not rid of this obsidian. Rid of this lava. 
uh, super fast. So, I'll be back uh, tomorrow. So, for now, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to sleep. Okay, everybody, I slept through the night. It is the next day, as you can see. And we're ready to make this thing, make this lava disappear quickly. So, the way we're going to do this is by using some pistons. So, I think we're going to need four sticky pistons, I think. Yeah, four sticky pistons and some regular pistons. So let's just get up here and start doing this. So we're going to need at least four sticky pistons and the rest regular pistons here. So we actually have to get rid of this lava. So I'm just going to throw down some sand for right now to get rid of it. Because that sometimes takes a while to go away. And then we're going to clear out this obsidian as well. Takes a little while, as you all know. But not too long. So I'm going to cut this part out, get this obsidian out of the way, and then we'll start. Okay, we got the three obsidian here. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to place our sticky pistons down like this so one two and then might need some sand down here temporarily three four and those are gonna push regular pistons facing downward so we're gonna get some regular pistons out here place them down like that like that like that and like that okay now we need some redstone to come along the back here get some blocks out as well and what we're going to want to do is run a signal from here coming down like this and then to that side over there so pretty simple really nothing too major just runs like this and then down like that and then over underneath of this to there and then we will place another lever down right there. So what this will do is this will push push the pistons out here like so. And then once we have blocks up here, we can just simply place a lever on this thing. And that will uh, allow us to easily to easily get rid of the lava. So let's just do that now. Let's place some I guess we could place some stone down. I might replace this with the redstone lamps though. And then we'll just place some redstone like this. And we'll place a lever down. Like so. And that will get rid of our lava. So let me just show you how this will work after I eat some bread real quickly. Okay, so those are retracted so we want to bring the pistons back. Just like that. Okay, so. How this works is we first place down some redstone so we can use that trick to make some obsidian. Not there. There we go. Then we release the lava. Lava comes down. Slowly. Painfully slowly, actually. I'll go out four blocks so you can make up to three obsidian at a time. Then it should stop. Perfect turn off the lava so the lava should go away but it doesn't it stays around except that time it did okay everybody let's try that one more time and if we put our redstone down like that and we release the lava it should flow down and you'll see I removed that one block we placed down uh, back there because lava travels up to four blocks, so it should create another one here. And then stop right there. Okay. So then we get rid of the lava by shutting it off. Sometimes it doesn't go away. Like now it's staying. So if we hit those pistons, that pushes the sticky pistons forward, pushes these pistons over the lava. Hit that down. And goodbye lava. So that's a way to get rid of the uh, the lava. Okay, so some of you might be saying, Cub fan, why do you want a obsidian generator here? Isn't that uh, beside the point? Like, why would you want it if you already have a nether portal? 
Well, uh, it's much easier to get obsidian this way than it is through normal means. You don't have to go down to a cave or anything. And it's just just cool, by the way. Uh, I mean, why the heck would you not want something like this? I mean, it's pretty awesome, isn't it? I think it is. Get rid of those guys. But I just wanted this because if in future updates, Obsidian has more uses, like, for example, for Obsidian tools or Obsidian boats that can allow you to cross the nether or something, I want to be ready. So I think this is pretty good use uh, for enchantment tables as well. I might want to make a couple enchantment tables around the world in various spots. So I think an obsidian generator is worth it to build because it's not very resource intensive. But it allows you to get as much uh, obsidian as you need given that you have enough redstone and I have quite a bit of it. Almost a full chest full in fact. So I thought it was more than worth it. But I'm just going to harvest this one last thing of obsidian. And then we'll go ahead and head down into the mine and see who today's highlighted channel is. Okay, everybody, so today's highlighted channel, no surprise, is the Tipton 775. So he left a very useful comment on how I could improve the sand generator just by using torches, so that would automatically break the sand blocks for me, causing me not to have to break shovels. So thank you very much, the Tipton 775. So a bit about his channel. He has uh, several Minecraft videos up right now. Some mod spotlights, some TNT explosions, so definitely a cool channel. Go and check out, go and check out the Tipton 775, and there'll be a link in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and clear out his mine shaft, and we'll see how he does against the other competitors. Okay, just finished digging out the Tipton 775's mine shaft. Let's see how he did. Just hop back here, and not hit our heads on the rafters. Let's see, we got some redstone. Got a bit of iron and some lapis. So I'll go ahead and also got a little bit of coal. I'll go ahead and tally it up and I'll be back. Okay, everybody. So the Tipton 775 got a total of 964 points. So let's just go ahead and see where he places. 964 will be good for 10th place. So I'm going to go ahead and change the signs and I'll be back. All right. So here are the updated standings that they currently stand. And I think I'll call that an episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Cub Fan. Goodbye.